my name is Subhash Rajpurit, and uh, I come from uh, you know an evolutionary biology background. And uh, recently, I have joined here at the Ahmedabad University. I have been working for the last five years at the University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. I grew up in Thar Desert, and you know Thar uh, Desert are very challenging environment. So from my childhood days, I used to collect bugs while coming back from the school, and then you know. When I went to the college, I took biology as a major and uh, studied uh, geology, geology, and chemistry. I study organisms uh, in their natural environment as well as in the laboratory conditions. So, like how physiological systems evolved over time in the natural settings as well as in the laboratory set. I'm working on uh, Drosophila, and these are you know fantastic model organisms to study evolution, genetics, and like a number of other subjects and so I bring these populations to the laboratory and test some you know evolutionary hypothesis I study life history traits and how organisms adapt with varying environmental stresses. Yeah there's one quote like one famous evolutionary biologist sometime in 1973 he said that nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. If you see that picture you know where we collected a natural population from the field and sometime in 2008 we started selecting these populations you know artificially under the laboratory conditions and we selected them for darker and lighter pigmentation like body coloration and like uh, the selection is still underway and right now it's like 160th generation and over these 160 generations we, we tracked these populations for phenotypic as well as you know, genetic, genetic level and uh, we are seeing lots of you know evolutionary changes in these populations. I come from a research background but it was really fascinating my experience and interacting with the students and because uh, uh, I don't follow the typical classroom teaching kind of thing I incorporate research at all the levels while teaching so uh, my way of teaching is you know uh, while doing things you know you when you're working on a project at that time you actually need that particular knowledge that uh, to step up here you, you need that kind of theoretical knowledge here so i introduce the students right there so that's how they can easily connect it you know at a neurological level also the students uh, enjoying in the classroom and we have lots of interactions and some fun also imsc program in life sciences have a uh, project components. So right now I have like 15 project students. So they're working on three different projects in groups, five to six students in a project. So I take them outside to the orchard, we collect fruit flies together, we bring them to the laboratory. So you can imagine a fresh high school pass out comes to the university and just starts his master's program and like in a few weeks he or she is able to grow the flies, breed flies in the laboratory and he is using independently them after just you know spending few hours with them. So but yeah I give full freedom to my students to explore newer ideas and troubleshooting and all that and wherever they, they have some cliff and falling I just hold them back. 